YouTube, what it is, it's your boy Scotty, Suburban LA. Yeah, I already know what it is. Um, man, let's get right back. Let's get right into it. Um, I seen this come across my desk. I was like, let's check this out. I actually watched like a little bit of it, but we can get right into the uh the crust of things. Is it is that how you say the crust? Let's get right into it, man. Um, this UCLA teacher. Got on TikTok, that app that you guys love so much. Um, and he's basically saying, yo, I make 70K a year. I don't make enough to afford my living situation. Um, and then he goes on to pretty much beg the people, the community to do something about it. So let's watch it. Let's see what he got going on. Hi, everyone. My name is Daniel, and I'm an astrophysics professor at UCLA. A little while ago, I had to move all of my stuff into one of these storage units because I was paid only $66,000 last year and I'm only being paid $70,000 for this academic year um, to be a full-time physics professor. And the rent in Los Angeles is incredibly expensive. It's $2,500 for a one bedroom apartment. So I'm no longer able to afford that. I had to move all of my- So 70,000 a year, is a little over take home probably like 4500 a month no about 47 a month put my stuff into the storage unit now i'm not officially homeless i'm staying someplace um it's in san diego so it's nowhere close to los angeles and i had to move my classes online now, I reached out to my department several months ago with this predicament, and I asked them to please let me. Okay, I want to preface. Well, I'm not going to preface it, but I, San Diego is much more expensive than Los Angeles. It's actually one of the most expensive places in California outside of San Francisco. So just want to point that out. You renegotiate my contract to $100,000 a year so that I can make the the minimum to afford my apartment so that I don't come up short every month and so that I can actually afford to pay all my other bills, my car payment, my, my car insurance, gas, food, whatever. And they refused. And then what's worse is Pear Kraus and Stuart Brown, the chair, they're trying to get me in trouble for moving my classes online. And I had to move the classes online because I, I can't live near UCLA. I can't afford it right now. So they, they are trying to punish me for a situation that's beyond my control. And so you may be wondering, what can you do to support me? First of all, I'm not wondering what I can do to support you. I'm I'm a hundred, I'm one million percent not wondering what I can do to support you. That I'm a million percent percent not wondering what I can do to support you. I'm not. I am sorry. I'm gonna let it continue before I say what I say. If you're interested, please subscribe to my channel and follow for more. That's very helpful. Um, if you would like to, it would be great if you have the time, if you could write to UCLA, write to the chair of the physical sciences department. I don't think writing to Pear or Stuart is necessarily effective because they haven't listened to the pleas from the hundreds of other students who've already written to them. I would also encourage you to write to the Daily Bruin and encourage them to cover the story, write to the New York Times, any publications, any media. Although um, we normally, we get a lot of our media now from social media. Um, people in power who make decisions still read traditional media publications a lot. And so getting some more traditional media to cover. Right, I don't want to hear this shit. Um, is a, I mean, listen. I'm going to say this, all right, because, <clears throat> yes, if you're making 70000 a year, your rent is 2500 a month, I get it. Half of your income is going to your rent, especially what he seems to be a single man. I'm assuming he's a single man. Um, yeah, 50% of your income going to your rent is never fun. It's never, ever fun. <clears throat> and I would go, I'd probably go on a limb and say, I don't know if I care if teachers get paid more or paid more or not. This is my whole thing. And this is what I continue to die on. And a lot of you guys aren't going to like what I have to say, but it is my thought process. 
You are a grown ass man. You're a grown ass man. And so at any point you get online telling me about your problems and you're not saying something along the lines of how you're going about plan or planning to fix them, I have no sympathy for you. I don't even like this beta male verbiage that's coming out of his mouth. It just sounds like he's pleading for help when all you need is your damn rent paid, bro. You need to go get on Amazon Flex. Go pick you up an extra thousand. Go do some gig work. There's plenty of gig work out here. Do pick up a side hustle, bro. You're a teacher from since the beginning of time. Since the since the since I've been a kid, since I've been a youngster, we've all known that teachers do not get paid. So, and I'm not saying that that's right. I'm not saying that, that that's right. But what I am saying is if you go into a profession that you know doesn't pay a lot and you're in Los Angeles, which is one of the most expensive places to live, I don't want to hear you complain about it being expensive to live. This type of bullshit ass. I don't even know if I can cuss this early in the video. This type of like when I hear this, like it just sounds weak. When I hear this, and it's like, hey, if you want to support me, uh, go. Like, are you telling your story, or I guess, yeah, he's asking for support. I'm not gonna ask that question. Are you asking for support? Yes, he's he's ask he's asking for support instead of getting on your a game. I have no sympathy for men like this, bro. Get on your a game. I personally believe God made us some of the most resilient, powerful, brilliant creatures on earth. Use that. And once you use that, then we can start uh, rallying to get behind and help and put something together because you're actually doing dope things for the community, for the, your your te your um, your students. I don't want to hear you complain about rent's too expensive. You both get on your ass and work. And you, you, you're white at that. You're white. And you complaining? Bro, niggas make me sick, man. <sighs> Listen, I understand, and I and, and I want to and I want to step back, and I want to also say this: Yo, times is very, very hard right now, and I believe they're only going to get harder. But with this type of mindset right here, nothing will get done. You on TikTok, dog? You got grades, bro? You on TikTok asking for help? Instead of doing what you need to do, you don't got time to be on TikTok, bro. You don't got time to be on TikTok, bro. You make a little over 51000 a year after taxes. You don't have time to be on TikTok. And then, yes, you want to move your classroom offline. No, bro. These kids is paying top dollar to have your ass in physical. What are we talking about? We used to hunt. We used to hunt. I'll see you guys on the check-in this week. Um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. People always say hit that bell notification. I don't even be hitting the bell notification. But if you want to, you always be updated whenever I post a video. Um, drop a comment. Tell me what you think. Am I being too harsh on this guy? This guy is weenie, if you ask me. No more weenies. We I'm going to make men out of y'all. No more weenies. Okay? No more weenies. That's what I'm going to do. Um, if y'all see anything else I should, um, so, you know, react to, please send it my way again. I'll be on the check-in. I'm, I'm working through the check-in right now. I was doing it daily. I think I'm gonna switch it to Friday, bro. I've got so much work that I'm doing right now. Um, I'm not complaining. I'm pulling myself up by my bootstraps and I'm working. So let's get to it, man. These, these soft boys make me sick. I'll see y'all tomorrow.